Most people who are diagnosed with kidney cancer don't have any symptoms. They might be having a scan for other things and it shows that they have a kidney cancer. This is called an incidental diagnosis. Their cancer has been found by chance when investigating something else. But when someone does have symptoms, these might include blood in the urine, a lump or mass in the kidney area, as well as pain in the side between the ribs and hip. This is known as the flank area. In this video, we're going to cover the potential signs and symptoms of kidney cancer in much more detail, and we'll also discuss when you need to see your doctor and what might happen when you go to visit them. So first of all, let's discuss three of the most common symptoms and signs of kidney cancer, the first being blood in the urine. So blood in the urine, which is called hematuria, is the most common symptom of kidney cancer. Now it can also be caused by other things such as infection, enlargement of the prostate or kidney stones, but it's always important to see your doctor if you see any blood in your urine. Now the blood doesn't have to be there all of the time, it can come and go, and sometimes the blood can't be seen by the naked eye, but your doctor can do a simple urine dipstick test to check for this. The second important sign to note is a lump or mass in the kidney area. This is the area of the body where your kidneys are, and if you feel a lump or swelling in the area of your kidneys, you should always see your doctor. Now, most kidney cancers are too small for you or your doctor to feel, but your doctor can arrange for a scan, such as an ultrasound scan, to check for cancer. Now, the third thing to note is a pain in the side between the rib and the hip. This is known as the flank area. A pain in the side between your ribs and the hip, which is the flank, can be a sign of kidney cancer. The pain may also go around your lower back, but just because you've got pain here does not necessarily mean you have kidney cancer. Pain in these areas can also be caused by other things like an infection or commonly kidney stones, but you should always see your doctor if you keep getting this pain or it doesn't go away. Now, in addition to these three signs and symptoms, some people have got other symptoms which can be vague. These are things like losing weight without trying to, a high temperature and very heavy sweating, tiredness, a loss of appetite, and general feeling of poor health. High blood pressure and having fewer red blood cells than normal, which is known as anemia, and it can be detected through a blood test, can also potentially be a symptom of kidney cancer. Now, these symptoms are related to the hormones that the kidneys produce, and it can cause your blood pressure to be extremely elevated. Now, it's important to note that all of these symptoms can be caused by many other conditions. Most people who've got these symptoms will not have cancer. But if you do have any of them, it's important to see your doctor. That's because if it is a cancer, it will be much easier to treat if it's diagnosed early. Finally, when should you see your doctor and what might happen at your doctor's appointment? Well, it's important to see your doctor if you notice any of the symptoms that we've discussed. So these are blood in the urine, a lump or mass in your kidney area, or pain in the side between your ribs and the hip, so the flank. Any other symptoms of kidney cancer that don't go away should also be discussed. These include the vague symptoms like losing weight without trying to. Now, depending on your symptoms, your doctor might do a general physical examination. They're going to feel for any areas that might be swollen or not normal. They may also listen to your chest to find out if it sounds normal, and they might ask you to provide a urine sample so they can test it for blood or an infection. They may also arrange for you to have blood tests either there in the surgery that day or to come back later on to have the blood tests. Now, after your examination, your doctor might want to refer you to hospital for other tests, things like an ultrasound scan, or they may even refer you directly to the specialist. It's important to ask your doctor to explain if they don't think you need a referral or any tests and their reasoning behind this. They may ask you to come back in a week or two if your symptoms continue, but it's also important to go back sooner if the symptoms change, get worse, or don't go away. Sometimes when you do see a doctor, you might be nervous, anxious, or worried, and you might forget to ask all of the questions that you wanted to. Don't worry, this is totally normal, but it might help to bring a friend or family member with you and write down some of the important questions that you want to ask. These might be things like, do I need any tests and what will they involve? Will I find out about my results or appointments by post or telephone? How long should I expect to wait? Where can I find out more about the different tests? Do I have to do anything in preparation for the tests? And do I need to see a specialist? as well as who do I contact if my symptoms change, continue or get worse, and when should I see you again if this happens? 
I hope you found this video informative and helpful and if you did please consider liking it, subscribing to the channel and sharing it with a friend or family member who you think might benefit from this. If you also want to share your own experiences or comments around kidney cancer in the comments section please do so. This can be incredibly helpful for other people watching this video and until next time, bye.